Hey friends, it's Sam again from the Art Lab in a Box, and today we are going to be making a pet portrait. Everyone got a special puppy inside their box, and we're going to draw a picture of them and paint it to make sure they feel really special so we can hang it up at home. And here's the material we need, a watercolor paper, paint palette, paint water, a permanent marker, which should be in your box, a pencil, a paintbrush, and always have a trusty paint towel lying around in case we get messy. All right, go get your stuff and let's get started. Press pause and play again when you are ready. I just wanna start by saying, your dog is going to look completely different from the one I draw. We are each unique artist, so don't be worried if your dog is looking a little bit different from mine. All right, so let's start on the first half of the page. We are gonna draw two grape-sized eyeballs. If you're not too good at circles, we're gonna do this in a pencil so that you can erase any mistakes that you might make. All right, go ahead and draw your two circles. Up next, we're gonna add in some half moon shapes on the bottom here. Do you see how I'm just filling out half of the eyeball, making two little moons on the bottom? This smaller circle is going to be our pupil. So inside our eyeballs, we are gonna do two mini circles again. Do you see how it's kind of starting to look like eyes now? Now I'm gonna add a couple of little X's in this area here so that I remember that this area is gonna be needed to be painted black to make them really look like eyes. So I'm just lightly shading it with my pencil just so I won't forget what part needs to be black. So keep following along with me as I go. Pause at any time if you feel like you need to catch up with us, okay? All right, here's our next step. Between our eyes, we are gonna draw a little heart. I'm sure you, maybe you've tried drawing a heart before. And now we are connecting the lines here, connecting them to the eyes. And here I am drawing a mouth. Now you can see my mouth is a little more crooked than I would like, but that's okay. We go ahead, we go in with our pencil and erase it. I'm erasing, erasing, erasing. And I am gonna try my line again because I just want it to be a little bit different. So anytime you need to erase something, go ahead. So here I am having a second try and I'm much happier with this shape, perfect. So let's move on to our next step. I wonder how yours is looking. Okay, so what I'm going to add now is I'm going to make a line going from the bottom of the eye all the way around until it meets up with the other eye. Did you see how I did that? I started at one end and went all the way across making a square-ish shaped face. All right, now let's do two eyebrow shapes right over top of the eyes there and a kind of straight line to connect them together. Go ahead. All right, now I'm gonna close my head here by starting to add some ears. My ears are going to be kind of this shape. Pugs usually have some floppy looking ears. So it's almost like a hanging flag Try to do your ears something similar to this, but really you can draw the style that you like. It's almost like a corner or a little bit of a flag shape. Okay, look it, I think it's really starting to look like a pug now. Let's just connect these ears to a body. Going all the way down, just like this. Before we close the body up, let's get started on his legs. The legs are gonna be really simple. You're just gonna wanna make a couple stick-like shapes going down in the middle of your pug's body. And then we're gonna add a little boot-like shape. See, just like this. We're gonna go all the way up to make two little legs. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Perfect. All right, so draw on your legs of your puppy, and then now you are able to close up the body by joining the lines here. As you can see, I'm adjusting my lines a little bit. Don't forget, you can always erase and fix anything that you need to fix. 
Sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes we want to change things and that's okay. All right, so I have my puppy's body is closed and now we're just going to add on the outside legs. Cute. Uh, Very yeah, cute. Yeah, and then the let's thing. close the bottom. And there oh we gosh, go. Wow. I really love mine. I wonder what I'm going to name my puppy. Wow. Now I need my puppy to have a collar because I do not want him to get lost and not have a collar on. So let's draw two lines coming around the neck. A little hook to hold our dog collar and make any shape that you would like to make your dog collar. I'm picking circle good. just because I like a circle, but you can pick any shape that you want. You can do a heart, you can do a star, you can do a bone shape, anything that you like. Once you have that done, I think our puppy is looking ready to paint. So let's get started. Let's get our brush ready and get started to paint. Okay, finish up your drawing at any last minute touches, press pause and play again when you're ready to paint. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna get my paintbrush nice and wet. The key to getting nice colors is to make sure there's lots of water on your paint palette and you're rubbing in your brush for at least five to seven seconds. So count, add lots of water, and go ahead and paint your puppy. I'm going with brown. Um, I'm choosing to do brown colors, but really if you wanted to have a purple puppy or a green puppy, anything goes you guys paint your puppy how you want be creative i'm just gonna choose just some regular colors that you would normally choose for a regular real life puppy but sometimes i like to have fun and do lots of different colors i do just want to remind you though that the eyes remember we shaded them and did those little x's in them we want to paint those eyes black because if we want them to look like real puppy eyes definitely I think coloring that black is the way to go. So any colors really go, but try to do the eyes black so they pop and they look like cute little sad puppy eyes. All right, I'll show you guys how I paint mine. Adding lots of color, put lots of black on there. Carefully just paint your eyes going around the little white circle. It's kind of hard to do. If you could find a thinner paintbrush, you can totally get a thinner paintbrush. I'm just working with this one and I'm taking my time. So there you go. So now it's your turn to paint. I'm gonna add a few more details while I'm painting. You guys can totally do the same, but it's time for me now to speed up my painting here and you guys can get started. So press pause as soon as you're done watching mine and I'll see you back when you're done painting for the next step. Okay, now I'm done painting. I've added all the colors in that I want to add. I've even added some extra details. Now we're just going to take our black marker and trace all of our black lines. What this is going to do, it's going to make our puppy really stand out. It's going to make our artwork, artwork look finished and ready to hang on the wall. You'll see what I mean. So now go ahead, it's your turn. Make sure you're drying, your painting is completely dry before you do this step, okay? And when you're ready, press pause and trace all of your lines going all the way around your puppy, even on your extra details. If you added extra details like clouds and a sun like I did, um, add your black marker all to that and press play when you've done that step. See you soon. Uh, 
I am so proud of my pug puppy. It is absolutely adorable. We only have one thing left to do, and that is to put our artist signature down at the bottom. I also like to put the year so I know what year I made it. And there is your masterpiece. It's complete. Well done, everybody. I'm sure yours looks incredible. Good job.